Welcome back to the show. We are about to talk with a woman who's using Star Trek to inspire people to vote for candidates on either side of the aisle, okay? But first, there happen to be two Trekkies on our staff, and of course I'm talking about myself and executive producer Joseph Sutner. Joseph, when Amity. I found out that you love Star Trek, <laughs> yes. I asked you, I was like, why do you love it? And will you please share with everyone your philosophy on Star Trek? Well, I just love it. It is a beautiful vision of the future where just humans have decided to get along, focus on each other, lifting each other up, mm -hmm. and then moving out into space to see what else is out there. I and, mean, and be kind, and, and you've mm -hmm. got all, you know, you've got all sorts of different kinds of people on board, yep, different yep. races, different species, yep. different aliens, so I think it's really... And I always like to point out that Star Wars and Star Trek have different, you know, points of view, exactly. both valuable, but Star Trek is a little bit more about humans. Star Trek is about humans. Mm -hmm. Star Trek is also about the future and how mm -hmm. we can be a better society. Definitely. Star Wars is really just about good and evil. And action and adventure. And action, yeah. and it's about, you know, you know, believing yeah. in the good. So, yeah. I mean, they both have their values. Star Trek has It's very more. inspiring. But yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I like that you brought your memorabilia up here. This yes. Spock cup is ideal. Yes. Shows Spock's faces. Uh-huh. Dif all of his different emotions. That but he, uh, it's the same face. How he displays them, because he has emotions. He just keeps them in check. He does. He does. And then uh, this little Enterprise model that you got for me. I did. This is the NCC 1701, the, the original. original. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then I have my uh, Star Trek encyclopedia that I got before the internet when I was a child. <laughs> I love that. You before you got that in the 90s, right? Yes, my grandma got it for me. Before, you know, before the internet, you couldn't, like, look up stuff so yeah. easily, so you had to buy books to, like, learn. And it has all the Enterprise. About Star Trek, so I, uh, I did that, and it's just been such a... Wow, that is a serious... Oh, it's a serious book. Tome, yeah, I, if you will. Yeah. It's oh, been, wow, that is fun. It's been with me in every apartment I've lived in in Seattle, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you think that we should use Star Trek as a model for society. I think, you know, it's very inspiring to a lot of people. I yeah. know I started watching it when I was in second grade and it mm -hmm. really, I think, honestly did impact like the way I think about morals and mm -hmm. treating other people yeah. and stuff like that. So. The Federation is serious. Even yeah. Captain Kirk, he, you well, know. Well, you know, I'm more Picard, but. <laughs> I, you are. Picard does follow the rules a little bit more. Captain Kirk was a little bit of a. Yeah, you know and me, real follower. So. I know, exactly. Yeah. I mm. see that. I see that yes, every yes. time. Well, I love the fact that we have talked about this, and I love the fact that, you know, Star Trek really is that. Mm -hmm. It really is making just allowances for everyone. Making space for people, yeah. And allowing everyone to have their voice heard. Speaking of which, like yeah. I mentioned earlier, a Seattle woman has created a group around Star Trek to inspire people to vote. It is nonpartisan. The founder of Trek the Vote, Tay Phoenix, joins me now over Zoom. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. Okay, I did not realize, because when we spoke before this segment began, I didn't get to see you. I did not see that you had a Federation background there. With your Trek I do. the Vote, I love that. <laughs> um, what is Trek the Vote and why did you create it? Trek the Vote is a nonpartisan movement of Star Trek fans, actors, and behind the scenes professionals uh, working to encourage Trekkies to volunteer to help people to vote. So uh, I created it along with my um, good friend Ethan in 2020. Um, we were sort of lamenting about the likelihood of, um, you know, malfeasance of one flavor or another in, in the 2020 election. And I said, God, I wish the UN would come in and monitor this or Starfleet. And then I thought, hey, wait a minute. You can be Starfleet. We're Starfleet. And that's kind of how this was born. I love that. Why is it so important that you keep this nonpartisan? Well, you know, there are Trek, Star Trek, you know, appeals to a wide variety of people across the political spectrum. Um, and, you know, there are people of good faith that have a lot of different viewpoints in this country. And I think it's important that we figure out how to work together on the things we have in common, like preserving democracy. Mm -hmm. Right. There are there is a, a force in this country at this juncture that would really like to see democracy representative government go away um, yeah. and have there be government only for some. Um, and I think that there are there are people, like I said, from a variety of perspectives who who really um, who don't want that to happen. And I think we need to work together. You know, I've heard you say you got a lot of the other actors involved. I know Marina, a.k.a. Deanna Troy. She's very involved politically. Is she involved in this? 
No, she isn't, at least not so far. Um, we yes. have reached out to her. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I, our hope is that we continue to, you know, have lots of, of actors engage. Um, you know, we, this year we've had uh, Kate Mulgrew from Voyager, um, who, which Voyager is my favorite series, and Captain Janeway is my all-time favorite character. So ah. um, <laughs> that was especially delightful for me. Um, Jonathan Frakes uh, from uh, Star Trek The Next Generation and returning Gates McFadden, also from Star Trek The nice. Next Generation. Um, you know, we just, it's the the list, it's all on our website. If you go to trekthevote.com, um, you can see all the actors that participated this year. And it's just, it's just, I, I kind of get teary every time I think about um, how many people have invested in this. It's I really amazing. I think that's amazing. beautiful. What is it about Star Trek that you like personally? Oh, man. I mean, I'm kind of a weird duck. <laughs> I'm autistic and I haven't always fit in places. Um, and, uh, you know, on Star Trek, everybody belongs. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter whether you're like, you know, a wacky Talaxian chef or a mild mannered Kelpian who's still outgrowing his threat ganglia like you are. You belong. Yeah. And and I, you know, I really I really believe in that. And I think also that, like, I want to see I want that future to come about. Right. I want us yeah. to get to a place where we are post scarcity and we treat each other with respect and, you know, scientific and interpersonal curiosity are the like order of business. Yeah. Um, Amen. That seems like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are so right. And by the way, you are always, you always belong right here with New Day. So thank you so much, thank Tay. Uh, and just a reminder, everyone, the midterm election is next week on Tuesday, November 8th. Make sure you get your ballots in the mail, whatever size you choose, make sure you are rocking the vote, all right?